Hi, I'm Danny from House Fresh, and in today's video is for those people living in the UK who need an air purifier. And sadly, air purifiers are just not that common here. So one of the reasons why I put this video together is because most of the best air purifier guides you see ranking on Google, they're just full of really bad recommendations. And in the best of cases, they're just roundups of popular products by freelance writers. But in the worst of cases, they're fully produced with AI. Sadly, these product recommendations from these famous big media publishers are nothing more than just a list of the best selling devices, which is absolutely useless when it comes to you as a consumer. So my hope is we can rank this video at the top of Google so more people can watch this before they buy an overpriced, underperforming device recommended to them by The Independent. If you don't want to watch my full review, here are what I think are the best air purifiers available in the UK right now. For best overall, we have the Winex Zero S. For best budget, we have the Media Smart Air Pure Control. For the quietest, we have the Air Fanta 3 Pro. The best for large spaces is the Smart Air Blast Mini. Best for small spaces is the Philips 800S. Best for odors is the IQ Air Health Pro 250. And the most stylish is the Philips 3000i. For today's video, we tested over 38 air purifiers that are available in the United Kingdom, and we followed the same test procedure we always do. We used two purple air sensors and tracked how quickly each device could remove PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. We then also recorded how much sound each device made at each fan speed. We then retested each device to see how well it could clean the air running at a fan speed that was less than 45 decibels, as this a good noise limit for most people. Finally, I estimated yearly running costs looking at energy usage and filter replacements. My top recommendation is the Winex Zero S. We tested and reviewed the Winex Zero SE, which is the special edition version of the Winex Zero S from Costco. We paid £149.99p from Costco, but the Winex Zero S is £194, which is really good value considering you get a dust KDAR of 240 CFM. Known as the AM80 in the United States, it uses the same filters as the Winex 5502, a powerful air purifier that is sadly just not available on this side of the Atlantic. When we tested the Winex Zero S in our test room, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in a speedy 19 minutes. And this is really impressive and we can compare this to other devices we've tested that are available in the UK. When testing this device at sub 45 decibels, which was speed three, it still managed to clean our test room in 34 minutes, which was impressive as this was the same result as what we saw with the Allen Breeze Smart 45i, running at its top speed. Now here are five features that I really like about this device. The first one is it has a removable pre-filter and this just makes it much easier to stay on top of keeping it clean. The second one is you have a choice of filters with this device. You can choose the A or the H filters and choose which ones have the amount of carbon that you want to use. It's also really lightweight and easy to move around. We currently have this device in our kitchen and when we're mopping the floor, it's easy to move this device compared to some of the heavier, bigger devices that we've tested before. It also has some of the lowest running costs compared to other devices. The total yearly running cost of running this device at its full speed is only £154, and we can compare this to other devices we've tested. Now, the potential downside is that it does have ionization technology through its plasma wave, but you can disable this if you don't want to use it. It also doesn't have some of the bells and whistles that we see with other brands. There is no app support with the device or on screen. It just has an auto mode powered by a simple dust sensor. But for most people, the Winex Zero S is our top choice for the best air purifier in the UK. And if you've got a Costco membership, keep an eye on the Winex Zero SE as you can often get this device for much cheaper than the Zero S. Our top budget choice used to be the Titronix AP003, but sadly we've heard that this device is now discontinued here in the UK and the rest of the world. But luckily, this actual device is sold under different brand names. When we opened up this device, we actually saw the name KJ 35GS1, which is the code name for the Media Smart Air Pure Control. And this device is available in the UK for £89.99p. And when we tested this device running at full speed, it performed as well as the original Titronix AP003, managed to clean our test room in 31 minutes. And we can compare that to other devices we've tested. Here are five things I really like about the Media Smart Air Pure Control. 
you firstly get great KDAR for the price. You get a dust KDAR of 202 CFM for less than £100. You're pretty much paying 44p per KDAR. It was also quieter than the original Titronix AP003 device at all fan speeds. It comes with app support. The Titronix AP003 never had app support and even the Lego, the device that's sold in the US, doesn't have app support, yet the media does come with its own app. It also had some really cheap long running costs. Now it has to be worth mentioning that you can no longer get OEM filters for this device, but when using this device with generic filters, it had some of the lowest costs we've seen and we can compare that to other devices we've looked at. Lastly, because this device is sold under different names and different logos all over the world, it's easy to get generic filters for this device. Just be aware that each generic filter might have different levels of carbon or different grades of filters, so performance can vary. Now, the only downside to really talk about this device, which is a really weird one compared to the Titronix and even the Lego, which uses the same design, the media doesn't have a pre-filter. It's really strange, there's still space for it, but for some reason, media decided to not include it. If media's watching, please give us back the pre-filter. It's only a piece of plastic, but it will make our life a lot easier. While the Media Smart Air Pure Control will be underpowered for large rooms, this is the best performing device that we see available in the UK for less than £100. Next up, we have the quietest option in the UK, and long-term viewers may not be surprised to find out this uses PC fan technology. And of course, it's the Air Fanta 3 Pro. The design is inspired on the original Corsi Rosenhold box, but instead of using a box fan, this uses a four PC fan array at the top. On each side, it has H11 filters that fit the device, as well as a plastic base for the bottom. When we tested this device running at its full speed, it managed to clean our test room of PM1 in a whopping 14 minutes, which is just incredible considering you can buy this device for £139. We can compare this performance to other devices we've tested. Now, when running this device at its top speed, it hits 56 decibels, which no one could argue is quiet. However, the Air Fanta 3 Pro comes with a power meter that allows you to set the voltage, which changes the fan speed. And when setting the voltage to 4.84 volts, it managed to clean our test room still in 31 minutes. But what was most impressive, it only made 38.1 decibels of sound, which is pretty much you forget that it's running in the background. Yet its air cleaning performance was the same as the Media Smart Air Pure Control or the Kowei Air Mega 150 running at full speed, which is why the Air Fanta 3 Pro is our top choice for the quietest option in the UK. Other than its incredible air cleaning performance, here are three things I really like about the Air Fanta 3 Pro. Firstly, you get a massive 430 CFM KDAR for less than 150 quid. That's just super impressive. The device can also be perfect for use in the classroom. When you set it to a really low volume, it can be running in the background, cleaning lots of air, but without interrupting the students or people working in that room. And finally, if you want to travel with this device, you can actually fold up all the parts and fit into a medium sized backpack or a carry on luggage and you can arrive in your location and have a massive KDAR air purifier just ready to go. If you've been following the latest developments in air purifier technology, the Air Fanta 3 Pro gives you a really easy way to try out these new PC fan technology. I'm a huge fan of the devices from Clean Air Kits and Northbox Systems, but when you account for the shipping costs and the cost of the filters for those of us in the UK, they're really not an option for the long term. Now I know that NewKit is working on the NewKit Tempest Euro which will use IKEA filters and I'm really excited to test this device when it comes out but for now the Air Fanta 3 Pro is our top choice for the quietest air purifier available in the UK. Our top pick for large spaces is the same as what we recommend for the US, the Smart Air Blast Mini. We have this device in our home, but be aware it's very large and very heavy, so it's likely best suited for offices, open plan spaces, or classrooms. This device had the highest KDAR of any device we've tested, and it sits at the top of our leaderboard at removing PM1 from our test room, managing it in just 12 minutes. Even when you run this device at its lowest fan speed, it hits 44.9 decibels, yet it still cleaned our test room in 16 minutes. In fact, this device is the only device on our leaderboard that includes its performance at both its top speed and its lowest fan speed. A couple of the things I really like about the Smart Air Blast Mini. The first one, 
it's made out of metal. Compared to other air purifiers in the market that are made out of plastic, which makes it really durable. They also don't force you to get the carbon filter as standard. They offer this device with just a HEPA filter for £432, or if you want the gas filter as well, it'll cost you £468. Now the downsides to be aware of this device, it's not smart in any way. There's no auto mode or app functionality, but that does give you some additional benefits. For example, in a power cut, this device will automatically switch back on and you can use it with any smart plug manufacturer. We currently have ours set up with the Philips Hue system. For those in the UK looking for a device for spaces up to 700 square feet, the Smart Air Blast Mini is the air purifier that we recommend. Now that we've covered the best option for large spaces, it's time to look at small spaces. But first, a disclaimer. If I had my way, everyone would buy massive air purifiers and just run them at their lower fan speeds. But I know from feedback from people, some people just need a small air purifier. So this is our top pick for the UK, and it's the Philips 800 series. It weighs just over 2.2 kilos and has a height of 36 centimeters and means it's perfect for the kitchen counter, small offices, or any rooms less than 174 square feet. It has an RRP of just over 154 pounds and it had better performance at removing PM1 from our test room than the popular Lavoit Core 300. The Philips 800 series managed to clean our test room of PM1 in just 35 minutes. Two other things I really like about the Philips 800 series. It has a yearly running cost of just £100, which is less than many of the other smaller devices we've tested, based on its energy usage and filter replacements. Two, it comes with an auto mode, which is really rare with budget devices. Now, a downside to be aware of with the Philips 800 series is the filter doesn't contain any carbon. So it won't be able to deal with gases or odors, but in a small air purifier like this, this can be a benefit. Because the carbon isn't bonded to the particle filter, you won't need to replace it so often as the particle filter often lasts much longer. All in all, this is a solid small air purifier that is available in the UK. Next up is our best air purifier for dealing with odors. Odors are gases, so they're not trapped by particle filters like HEPA. They need to be absorbed by a material like carbon. The problem is, is that most air purifiers on the market have very small amounts of carbon, often measuring in grams. So they quickly get used up when there are serious odors. That's why our top choice for odors in the UK is the IQ Air Health Pro 250. Comes with over five pounds of carbon and zeolite mix which compares really favorably with other air purifiers on the market. But it's not just about the amount of carbon in the filter. Here are three features I really like about the IQ Air Health Pro 250. The first one is, unlike many other air purifiers that have large amounts of carbon, the IQ Air Health Pro 250 is still able to remove particles fairly rapid. It managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in our test room in 25 minutes, which is good considering it's also pushing all this air through the very large carbon filter. IQ Air is also one of the oldest manufacturers in the air purifier industry. Whilst they are expensive, every device is made in Germany and the build quality is excellent. They also come with a pre-filter that looks as good as the HEPA filters used in most devices. And this is totally unique to IQ Air that I've not seen in other manufacturers. Now the big downside of the IQ Air Health Pro 250 is the price. Just under a thousand pound, it doesn't come cheap both in the initial cost and the long-term running costs, which is why I recommend that most people try a cheaper device like the Winx Zero S for dealing with odors before going down the path of getting an IQ Air Health Pro 250. But for those who want to deal with serious issues with odors and VOCs, the IQ Air Health Pro 250 is our top choice. We finally made it to our last category, the most stylish air purifier in the UK. Not all users just care about particle removal or noise levels. They want a high performing device that looks good and has smart features right out of the box. Whilst the Philips 3000i is not perfect, it ticks all of these boxes. Before I jump into the stats, here are the reasons why I think this is the most stylish air purifier in the UK. We've had this device in our front room for about a month and a half, and we've had compliments from visitors who just noticed this device. And I think it all comes down to this fabric layer at the top of the device, which really helps it stand out to the other units on the market. I also really like this glossy glass-like control panel. It's really clear and easy to use and just looks much better than other brands. Now we've had this device in our bedroom and I have to say it just fits into the decor compared to other devices we've used in that same place. 
But it's not all about looks. Here are four things I really like about the Philips 3000i. Firstly, particle removal. When we tested this device in our test room, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in 18 minutes, which compares really favorably to other devices we've tested. Its performance was also really good at lower fan speeds. At speed two, it made 45.8 decibels, which is a good level of noise, and we're still able to clean our test room of PM1 in 32 minutes. The app is good looking, has a good UX, although I would like to see some improvements to the scheduling. The onboard sensor can detect both particulates and gas, as well as showing the total particulates on the screen. The LED on the outside changes color depending on how bad the air quality is. Now, one thing to be aware of with the Philips 3000i, it has an RRP of 450, but the price changes all the time. So if you do want this good looking device, make sure you don't overpay. But what about the other air purifiers we tested that didn't make our list of recommendations? The first one we have is the Miko CA HEPA 76.5. This was a solid air purifier that we picked up from Costco, but in our testing, it was still outperformed by the WinX 0S at a lower cost. But the main reason we don't recommend this device is that we were unable to find filter replacements either on Amazon or directly from Miko. Now on the Miko website, they do say that filters will be available by the end of September, but until that is the case, we can't recommend an air purifier that consumers may not be able to find filter replacements for. Two, the Show Me Smart Air Purifier 4 Pro. Whilst it did well in our test room at removing PM1, it was still beating for raw performance to cost by the WinX 0S. But the big reason is it didn't make our list of recommendations is it made a really strange whining noise when we tested it in our bedroom when it was on the auto mode. I also didn't appreciate that you can't switch off the ionizer from the onboard control panel. You do need to use the app. Whilst it's fairly good value because you can get a ton of generic filters for this device, I just felt it didn't stand out against the other devices on our list. Four, the Lavoie Core series. I'm still a big fan of the Lavoie Core 400S, but chose the WinX 0S over it due to the facts of non-bonded filters and the removable pre-filter. I also chose the Philips 3000i over the 600S as it had a similar cost, but I just felt that the Philips 3000i had much better stylish design. And I chose the 800S over the Core 300 as it had better performance and an auto mode as standard. But if you did want a device that had carbon, then you may want to also consider the Core 300. Five Dyson air purifiers. Now I've not had a chance to test their latest BP04 874 pound air purifier, but just going off the estimated KDAR of 208 CFM, I just can't see a good value proposition there. And we've tested a number of the Dyson air combo units and the air performance is beaten by many air purifiers that cost significantly less. Six, blue air. Eagle eye viewers will know I rarely recommend blue air devices. And it's not because they're terrible at cleaning the air. In fact, they do really well in our tests. The problem is that you're forced to use ionization. Unlike WinX, Coway or Allen, where you can disable it with just the press of a button, with blue air's HEPA silent, you're forced to use it. And until they make ionization an optional extra, I won't be recommending their devices. Seven, mini air purifiers. You'll know on this list, the smallest air purifier is the Philips 800 series. So any of the smaller devices like the Lavoie Core Mini, I'm not recommending. And the reason is they're just too underpowered for most use cases. Additionally, they're also gonna end up costing you the same as running a larger air purifier. And the reason is, is that they often need the filters replaced in every three months versus six months with bigger devices. So you end up cleaning a lot less air, but paying the same amount as if you did have a bigger device. Now, my recommendation to most people is to buy the biggest air purifier you can live with. But if you want a small air purifier, please don't get one smaller than the Philips 800 series or the Lavoie Core 300, as you'll just end up paying so much more in the long term. I really hope you found this video useful. If you want to support the channel and you want to do something to help us, please use the links in the comments as this will help us get more money to do more tests and produce more videos in future. If you have any questions about the device we featured today, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.